Hey guys, I decided that for this video, we're going to freestyle it. We're going to freestyle and profile <laughs> what's coming towards you. It could be anything. Uh, I'm just doing it uh, as a special bonus because today is February 22nd, 2022 on Tuesday. So happy Tuesday. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what's going on. I'm going to do every single Zodiac and we're just going to start right now with Aries. So Universe Angel Spirit, guys. Why don't you just give us the 411 on Aries, what's coming towards them? What can they expect with this new portal? So imagine today is a portal day. What happened yesterday was yesteryear. What happens now from this time moving forward is past 222.22. So we're asking Spirit, just in general, we're freestyling what's coming towards you. And then depending on what pops out, I know what to ask. So Universe Angel Spirit Guides, what's coming towards Aries, please? Let's come in towards Aries, please. Okay, the Page of Cups and the Four of Swords. Interesting. Wow. Guys, you recently did um, Aries. You, wow, you accepted some new offer here. Guys, these of Pentacles for me is abundance. However you deem abundance. Health, wealth, love, relationships, jobs, whatever. This is it. You said, okay. This is a team I could possibly potentially work with, a person I can work with. I'm going to take a leap of faith and I'm going to do so, which was bringing you in a level of success, some kind of victory, some kind of vindication, some kind of acknowledgement in regards to whatever that is. And it started healing you. Maybe it healed your wallet, your finances, yourself, your psyche, your love shit, right? Here is the offer, the Page of Cups that actually fell on the table. So this is the big 222 reveal. Universe Angel Spirit Guides, what is this Page of Cups that's coming towards Aries? Clarify, please. Clarify this Two of Cups. Wow, the Star and the Knight of Cups. Wow, wow, strength. Leo, Leo energy, uh, Aquarius energy um, with the Star. So... This is either an invitation to something, because you have the Knight of Cups. So if you got a job offer, there is the inv the offer letter. Uh, maybe this is a date, an apology of some kind. This is like asking you out for coffee or for drinks. These are two, a page and a night. This is delivering you some kind of message on an emotional level that's going to make you happy. Okay? It's going to make you very optimistic, very positive, very, very hopeful. It feels like you're going in the right direction. You're on the right path and you're on the right track. You feel like you're doing something. So post this 222, this portal window. You are going towards your true north. You are on the right path. What's the surprise? What is the one thing Aries doesn't see coming? The shock, the surprise, or what they should know about? Anything in general, please, Spirit. Anything in general. Six of Swords. You are. You're leaving whatever was yesterday was yesteryear. You're leaving it behind. Six of Swords. For me, Six of Swords is always when a spirit tells me, you're on the right track. You're on the right path. If you were lost or confused or you didn't know or you weren't sure, that's a big fat sign that you're on the right track. You're on the right path. All right? What is this? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, this is friggin' nice. I love it. All right, well, you have two sixes, so that's awesome. You're going past that fives, the changes, the changes in your life, that period of change. But the six of swords is telling me you're leaving behind um, that job that was only giving you peanuts, that wasn't giving you enough of money. It was like hard work for a little, you know, payout. That's what you're leaving behind. This could also talk about a person you're leaving behind that was breadcrumbing you. It wasn't, wasn't giving you any, anything that wasn't of your worth or your value. You're leaving it behind, Aries, completely. Where are you going? You're going towards wish fulfillment with somebody else. The, who's the somebody else? You know who that is, guys. It could be another partner in life uh, on, um, or the people you work with or another community altogether, Ten of Cups. So, that, yeah, you're going towards the new thing. That new thing is what you're doing. Go ahead and clarify for me, Spirit, what's going on over here with the Six of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, you are certainly, my friends, going to wish fulfillment. Look at that. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. 
the, this is it for you. And, and it's like, you might have been wobbling or flip-flopping Aries before you got to this point, but now it's like, you know, intuitively, you're certain. You want to see something else that's crazy? Four swords. Four swords. The bottom of the deck previously. You are healing no matter what. So if you were leave, when you were having these nights, these stressful nights, these nights packed with anxiety, where am I going? What am I doing with my life? Should I be with this person? Should I not be with this person? You've decided. You're moving on. This is what you're doing with this portal. And you are healing. And spirit's helping you. And they're like, okay, uh, awesome, Aries. You've decided. You know what you want now. We're going to help you. So let's just keep going here. What is the biggest one takeaway Aries should have for this year? Moving forward. Big takeaway, please. Exactly what I just got done telling you. Four of Swords. You're healing yourself. You're evolving yourself, you're upgrading yourselves, and now Spirit's going to help you move along. They're going to give you what you deserve and what you need because you're finally acknowledging this. You're leaving behind things that were breadcrumbing you or weren't paying you enough of money for your work, time, and effort. Okay? Wow. Wow. Look at this. What did I say? After you heal, you're going to receive this. This is an exciting new project for some of you. Others of you, this is an, you know, a passion, a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. Again, newness. All new stuff, guys. All new amazing shit. Look, and under the Ace of Pentacles is now the, the, the Ten of Cups yet again. With the Five of Swords in reverse. Which tells me, guys, there's some in the chariot. So because you remained focused, because you guys remain focused over here, somebody was stalking you, first of all. Okay? Because the Page of Swords is behind that. You remained focused. Justice was like, I'm stepping in now, okay? Because Aries is doing the right thing. They're doing, you know, they're... They're remaining on moral high ground. They're doing themselves. They're doing ethically and morally correct. They're doing themselves. We're going to help Aries out right now. This is what we're going to do. So somebody started stalking you. You remain focused on yourself regardless of the positive and the negative shit around you. This person comes charging in, somebody that you've been dealing with or a situation you've been dealing with, and they put down their swords so they can talk to you. Okay, this person, whoever they are. And then you find that you're both mutually happy with one another because you finally had this discussion. You finally realize you want your needs and are one and the same. And then here's the opportunity. I'm sorry if my camera is fritzing for some reason. It's so strange. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but let's go ahead and finish clarifying the big takeaway from the year. And then I want to get a little bit into singles and then I'm going to move on to the next Zodiac sign. After I pull one romance card... I'm going to be funny today, guys. I'm going to pull a card from Spiritual as fuck, okay? Because they're great advice and... Wrong duck. They're great advice and... Um, sometimes we just got to keep it light and fluffy and just laugh a little bit. Where did I put my, my glasses? Ace of Wands and the Four of Swords, please, Spirit. Yeah. Judgment calls here. This is cleaning out the skeletons in the closet. Yep, Queen of Swords. Interesting. Yeah, some somebody's walking back to you guys. Just so you know, FYI, somebody is coming back into your life with this Eight of Cups in reverse to have this passionate new beginning. Some of you, it could be a revisiting to a project that you had started. It could be a water sign. Mostly, I'm, I don't know. It doesn't have to be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It just means that there's somebody here with love who's about to offer you a passionate new beginning, and somebody walks back to it. Okay, but here you are that comes out with the queen of swords. This is you being cerebral, logical, rational, trying to do the moral, um, ethical, correct thing here. Okay, because the queen of swords, as I always say, she arms the sword. Either she slights things out or she puts it down and she speaks with the person she needs to. But she's going here instead of here. When you're in Aries, we are not like the water signs. We don't, we don't reside over here in the heart chakra. <laughs> Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius reside up here in the head, cerebral, logical. We're in the middle. Okay, this is where fire signs reside. They take a little bit of this, and they take a little bit of this, and they create the passion that they need and the drive to force them forward. They use both and scrunch it in the middle, and this is what makes fire. It motivates you to, to take action, right? And if you find that healthy balance, you can make the decisions that you need to do. But in this case, it's saying you're not. You need, you're going here to make a rational, logical, practical 
decision on this judgment call on this passionate new beginning that you're having here and that's why it's you're being healed spirits like all right i can work with this all right romance angels what do you have for uh my aries romantically speaking guys i'm gonna go on to singles too in a second which this may apply for singles as well you deserve love yeah i think you're starting to recognize that guys here you deserve love romantic feelings and true love at the bottom of the deck that's coming in when i when it's down on the deck for me it's coming in on the table is the current energies so any minute now this true love person is coming in you're gonna go from romantic feelings understanding your worth and realizing guys this person what they mean to you coming in all right so Kimber, what do you have also for aries here i'll take this occupation that ace of pentacles for me guys this is in regards to your career a lot of you this is in regards to your career or occupation because there's another card in there that's toil and labor and that's more like about mundane work like the like the, the hustle and the bustle and just doing what you need to do to cut a paycheck this occupation this is something that you're you're, you're into your passion about your hobby your whatever and that ace of pentacles is telling me it's in regards to this you're building something and you have an opportunity to expand on it that's what this new portal is giving you it's working on your career oh my god oh my god i have chills i hope you do too out there aries jesus christ it's like because like, i'm in aries i'm like i hope this happens to me too <laughs> like doing my cross great fortune you guys see this great fortune and occupation this is this is it this is your year aries well it's your next two years okay so you really have to stay focused you need to remind yourselves that this it's all about this all right because right now i know a lot of you are feeling this way you're kind of putting love on the side and you're like mm, it's all about the benji sister it's all about the benjis and it kind of looks like that's what's happening and you're going to take this opportunity and you're going to go into the right direction with the six of swords and you're going here my friends a lot of you this is a creative new project some of you could have to decide because this is a businesswoman too she's being cerebral logical and she's making a huge judgment call here in regards to this this is freaking gorgeous all right spiritual as fuck what do you have to say holy shit you are enough boom i told you guys sorry the camera's freezing holy shit you are enough do you know what that means if some of you have a side hustle if some of you keep thinking that you're a fraud or you're a failure or this big this big offer that came to you right now and you thinking that you're not gonna be able to cut it spirit is is telling you no 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 you are let's read this bad boy what would happen if you let yourself drop all the reasons you've made up about why you're not good enough okay what if you tried it just for today you can always go back to believing you're not enough tomorrow but you may find that you like the way it feels today liking yourself trusting yourself really really like yourself kind of nice right you guys this is big this is big all right so let me do a quick reading right now into the single aries what's coming towards you in love we'll keep these uh guys out here and then we'll move on to the next sign all right universe angel spirit guides let's put this here since i'm not using that single aries who's coming towards my single aries my single not, not connected to anyone nothing waiting for love what's coming in towards them love wise please love wise please thank you spirit guides this could this is too much not taking this but i will take this ace of swords the king of swords and the two of wands interesting 
somebody has been peeping you for a little while. Aries, you're getting everyone's attention. You know why? Because you're keeping focused on yourself. You're doing your own shit, your own jam, your own job, and you're so focused on that that you don't even see what's going on around you in your environment. You got mad people coming after you. All right? There's somebody here totally peeping you with this page of swords. Look at it. And they're rushing in over here. It could be a cancer here. Um, but I also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ace of Swords. This person comes forward and they say, hey, what's up, Aries? I really would like to have a conversation with you. I want to be on the same page. I want to be honest. I want to tell you what's what. And this is a king. This ain't no douchey little kid that's going to give you peanuts. This ain't no knight who comes in and goes. This is a king. He just doesn't have words of affirmation for you. Like the I love yous and the I misses you. He's the slow and steady, but he's the person that you have great conversations with. Mental stimulation. Um, and you can do anything together. Uh, you can think up anything you want. Eventually, you warm this person's heart and you get it. But this is their language with the Ace of Swords. This for them is love. And they're like, oh, do we want the same thing? Then we can move forward. It's kind of one of those things. And they're being honest and truthful. They're like, hey, look, I've been peeping you. I want to come forward and let you know this for you single folk out there. And two of wands. And you're going to debate this because a lot of you are trying to let go of an old energy. I'm saying this specifically because it's 2 2022 on a Tuesday. <laughs> and it's a portal day. And there is literally a two. Guys, you need to Google what twos are. Their choices and their, their relationships. Okay, that's the angel numbers of twos. This right here is telling me here's another two. This is literally the portal I'm talking about. You're there. It's a matter of somebody just pushing you through to, to do the new thing. And you're going that direction anyway. So, let's go ahead and clarify this. Who's coming towards you? Thank you, spirits. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Oh my God, this person is, oh my God, this person is commitment heavy. Some of you, that your past person could be in an earth sign for some of you. N not sure. I only say that because that's at the bottom of the deck with the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, money, somebody, money on your home. Or th This is commitment. This is marriage. Maybe somebody was married that you were dealing with from their past anyway whatever the, the bottom of the deck just gives me a little backdrop story three of pentacles collaborating and now you're debating what do you do do you move forward or not yeah move forward or not six of swords see you're gonna feel like this your challenges this is why this is explaining to me why you're at the crossroads the twos all right, because this person is some semi breadcrumbing you a little bit. Uh, and that's the obstacles, blocks, and challenges. You're having like some kind of arguments, but they're kind of, for me, this is healthy fighting. This is like competition for you. This is challenges. This is like, kind of like when you're playing chess with a friend and you're trying to outsmart them kind of thing, but you know that the, the your, your counterpart is, you know, just as smart as you, just as good as you. So it's like a friendly competition. Um, with this, it, you will overcome it. You will find balance. But right now, this is what the, the, the obstacle is. And for some of you, like I said, you're not going to get words of affirmation from this person, not in the beginning. Um, I do see here, Aries, you leaving and something behind. You're just going to be like, that old hat is gone. You're going to let it crack in that foundation, and you're going to move on towards the new thing. Because these are the clarifiers to help me explain this. Because justice is here. Karma is here. Because you've been a good person, spirit's going to push you along, Aries. All right? That's what's going to happen. All right. Now I'm going to be, but remember, it's because you remembered your worth and your value. And you do have romantic feelings with this air sign. So you're not nuts. All right. Let's move on to Taurus. Taurus. coming in towards you. Fool, leap of 
fave. What a big day for you guys.